Prince Charles gave the Queen's speech this year. Usually it's Queen Elizabeth who gives the speech to the new session of parliament. But she had to pull out because of some mobility problems, thoughts and prayers. Now he was speaking in the House of Lords and his speech outlined the Queen's government priorities, including housing and cost of living. Mm -hmm. Now those are perfectly fine topics, I'm glad that it's being addressed. It's just that if you're gonna address those issues, the optics might matter a little bit. What am I talking about? Take a look. Her Majesty's government's priority is to grow and strengthen the economy and help ease the cost of living for families. Her Majesty's government will level up opportunity in all parts of the country and support more people into work. Her Majesty's ministers will continue to support the police to make the streets safer and fund the National Health Service to reduce the COVID backlogs. In these challenging times, Her Majesty's government will play a leading role in defending democracy and freedom across the world. We the royals believe that if you come to us for a second helping of gruel and you say, <laughs> sir, can I have some more? We will consider it, <laughs> but first, we will gild more of our furniture because that is our top priority. Like, well, dude, That's I mean, so look, the gilded. message is totally fine, but like, man, look at that gold. Yeah. Like, like, did you see the Met Gala? Hold, hold my beer. <laughs> like, I think we can get a little bit more ridiculous and over the top. And and by the way, like this, that might be worse than Trump. Like these are people who mm -hmm. it, it's not even cool anymore. Like it's not even like, oh, that's really fancy and that that look, that's a hot mess right there. It just happens to be a hot mess that's gilded at the same time. And like, is that is that outfit really doing him any favors? Just get him in a, like a like a sensible sport jacket or something. I feel like people will be more receptive to your message. <laughs> Like, does he have to wear all the medals and like, you know, pins and things like that? Like, no, but I, it's you're right. It, the pomp and circumstance, the environment. I mean, the optics do matter, especially if you're addressing something as serious mm -hmm. as inequality. Like, whatever you say is going to seem pretty hollow. Given the optics, yeah, right, yeah. Well, and I would say I specifically want to take issue with the pomp. I'm okay with the circumstance, but they've gone way overboard with the pomp, and something needs to be done about it. Come on, UK, rise up. But by the way, I mean that that room kind of looked like an Armenian immigrant's living room. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> Come on, you all know it's true. Persians, you too. I'm gonna need you, you to take some pictures. <laughs> but not second or third generation. I'm specifically talking about like newcomers. They're like, oh hell yeah, we're living large. We're in America now, all gold, everything. <laughs> I think I can put one I more golden know, pheasant just, on there. Hmm. By the way, I say this as someone who particularly enjoys brass fixtures in my home. <laughs> like I love, I love gold, um, but I'm not decked out in gold everywhere, obviously. <laughs> Anyway, and I'm not giving speeches on inequality um, as a member of the Royals who, by the way, like I know that their role is mostly symbolic, but mm -hmm. aside from the environment in which he decided to give that speech, it's also the history of the Royals and all of that, right? Yeah. Um, everything the Royals represent, not just uh, you know within the UK, but also around the globe. And I, I think you probably saw that story about Prince William and Kate going to like Jamaica mm -hmm. and, and getting protested there. And they were just like, I do declare like, like they, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you colonize people and they uh, feel you know, emboldened enough to speak out about the history. And I'm glad yeah. to see that. Yeah, honestly, like I, I know if you're in the UK, don't get mad at me or whatever. It should be fairly obvious our positions on this, but we don't get you know the monarchy. And sure, that makes us the same as pretty much every every American. Most Americans don't really get it, although the Meghan Markle and stuff got some people into it with the magazine covers and everything. But um, as much as it's always bothered me that there is this like, to me, weird veneration of of the rich. It like it it almost bothers me a little bit less now. Because I think that there is a far more cringy, stupid version of it. 
Like with the monarchy, okay, it's been there for so long. There's tradition, people have been growing up, it's always in the news. So they end up weirdly idolizing these people. But like we've got weirdos that love Elon Musk here. And honestly, he's way more pathetic and cringy than oh, any of these royals. Those royals aren't on social media all day 100%. long posting memes. Our president had a gold toilet. Like, no, we're no better. Let's let's just anyone in the UK who's offended, please don't be offended. In a lot of ways, we're actually worse. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you, at least you guys have, you know, healthcare. At least you guys, uh, you know, have certain like social safety net programs that like we couldn't even dream of here in the United States at mm -hmm. this point. Um, and we are now taken over by right wing theocratic authoritarians. Yep. Like, you should cry for us. Don't feel offended by us. And yeah, we've been taken like, over. Just get. Let us make fun of your monarchy. Like, just give that to us, please. <laughs> like, give us something. <laughs> we'll see. Why don't we ask? Let's let's start up a poll in Twitch for our UK viewers specifically. See if they'll <laughs> give us that allowance. <laughs> <laughs> Our UK viewers are super kind, I'm sure they will. Um, just a few uh, details here to give you more context. So Prince Charles wore an admiral's uniform decked out in jewels, as you could see, sitting on a throne and surrounded by gold plated everything. Now the state opening of parliament is an event of huge pomp and pageantry, which traditionally sees the queen traveling to the assembly in a stagecoach escorted by mounted soldiers. In ceremonial uniform, while the imperial state crown and other regalia travel ahead in a carriage of their own. I love the word regalia. Um, and of course, uh, you have journalists who are also trying to make the same point that we did on the show, including Derek Thompson, who said the optics here are exquisite, no notes. And by good. the way, th yeah. The issue that's being addressed is a serious issue. Um, apparently the US isn't the only country that's dealing with uh, incredibly high inflation when it comes to basic necessities like housing. UK average house prices increased 10.9% over the year to wow. February 2022, up from 10.2% in January 2022. The average UK house price was um, 277,000 pounds in February of 2022, which is 27,000 pounds higher than this time last year. Wow. So uh, yeah, things are pretty bad all, all across the world when it comes to uh, housing prices and things like that. So. If you want to be sensitive to those issues, totally fine. I, I definitely commend people who want to do that. Just do it in a way that looks better than <laughs> sitting in a gilded area. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.